everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I am doing a stone veneer wall and uh, I'm doing real stone. So you can tell there's no concrete back here. This is real slabs of stone. And I'm up like half the wall here. Um, so I'll talk about what I'm doing here. Uh, if you want to know how to do the wire lath or the scratch coat, there's two parts before this. So this is the third part of the stone uh, project. And uh, part four is going to be when I fill in these joints so talk about what we got going on here that's empty because uh we got to bring that faucet out i don't want my stone up under it you won't be able to screw a hose to it but here's the stone i got so first thing you notice try to keep your joints consistent right i use my fingers as spacers right so as consistent as you can be i mean it is real stone so it's like a puzzle you can't really get it perfect but it looks good enough, you know. Um, another thing is, every once in a while, you want to put a level mark up. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's a red line right here on these stones. So I know right there is where I'm level, and uh, I'm going up. Another thing, when you're looking at it, is it's not like a block wall or a brick wall or anything where it's all like completely joined, like staggered bond. So like I'll go like three stones, and then I gotta break it up right or I'll go two stones three stones this way break it up so I keep it like the rule of like th three stones no more maybe four if you have to um, but you want to keep it break up broke up and keep like a consistent uh, variation of what's going on um, that's pretty much it for that part um, what you're gonna need is all I have is a trowel you know some mortar and uh, this paintbrush here. Also, if you look behind me, I got all this stone laid out on the ground. So every time I lay one, I come back here, look at those, and figure out which one I can put on the wall. So, first things you're gonna do, I found a stone before I started this, so I'm not wasting your time. Um, you can skip around, and come back and fill in the little holes, which I like to do, because I like to get as much as I can on the wall as possible. Um, so this one's gonna go right here, right? I'm overlapping both of them there. All that looks good. Now what you're gonna do, come over here to your uh, mortar right there. So this is called a bonding, uh, I think it's adhesive. Yeah, not agent. I paint, I paint the back. This is so it sticks better. You really kind of should do this if you're laying real stone because it's a slick surface and you want that to bond to the wall. Uh, get a scoop of mud. Something that's important is you don't want to get too thick with this. If you get too thick, it'll just slip off the wall. So you want it to, I go like a quarter to a half inch thick, spread it all over. nice even joint here okay clean your trowel off and you're gonna go to your wall I keep the trowel in my hand um, you see where we're going yep so I'm going right up here right I stick it in there tap it in a little bit you can wiggle it whatever you want to do I like to get some suction so I tap it in now you're gonna hold it because if you just let it go it's gonna fall on the ground, you don't want that. It'll knock your stones off beneath it, you don't want that either. So we hold it here for a second until it doesn't move. Boom, good to go. I'm a little tight to that rock, so we're gonna tap it up a little bit, hold it again. Okay, so that's where I want it. I like to seal my joints. So I go like that. I seal it along the top with that mortar that got pushed out. And that's it. So that's how you lay a stone. And again, it's kind of just like a puzzle piece. You gotta step back, look at it, figure out what's going next. Then you just go from there. So as you're going, it gets a little bit harder once you get higher, trying to figure out which pieces go where. So say you got a piece like they go in there and it's not gonna work, right? I'm just gonna give you an example. So it's a real stone, 
it's not like uh, the fake veneer, um, which is really nice because all I use is a hammer and chisel to break them. So like this one, go there. Oh no, I've been looking for this rock forever. It's like the perfect size. What you're gonna do is I take my chisel and my hammer. So we're gonna just put it right here. You wanna shock it. By shock it, I mean you wanna give it a nice hard smack. So move around it too. So we're gonna hit here, hit here. Oh, that one didn't break off. Okay. So now you got a nice clean cut, right? Bring it up to your wall here. It's close, not close enough though. So you can just keep breaking it, do whatever you gotta do to make that fit in there nice. Uh, it's pretty close. I'm just gonna bust off this little piece. So again, just one more time. This is what I want removed. Put it right there. You're gonna hold it hard. On you, you want to break it against something hard too. If you're just like holding it like this, it'll break in the wrong spot. So here, perfect. And it's it looks just like it would come off the pallet, you know. So that's why I like real stone. It's way easier than having to grind them and everything. Boom, fits nice. Again, a little paintbrush on the back. Not too thick, boom. Clean off your trowel so you're not sending boogers all over the wall. Put it on the wall. Tap her in. Sometimes you gotta play with it where it looks the best. All right, <clears throat> so that's pretty much how you lay stone. Um, there's not really much to it other than you gotta look for the right piece, so it's really hard with that. So if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them, and thanks for watching.